in this video i'm going to show you how to upgrade this uh 10.4 inch screen from 2c cfl to our ub 35 series led kits this kit comes with uh, two led strips and one led drivers and connectors okay the part number for this uh, uh led kit is ub 35220 led 4215x2 plus ms 456ub so let's set it aside for a second take a look at the screen this screen is made by lg philips it's quite popular on uh, automation applications uh it has two backlight lamp uh, one on top one on bottom the screen part number is lb 104 v03 td01 again let's see lb 104 v03 td01 in order to upgrade to uh from ccf to led it's pretty easy for this particular screen there's two there's a screw holding the reflectors and on each side so let me show you on this side first okay all right slowly just grab the wire slice out okay this this lamp's already bad so don't worry about it. just slide it out okay take a look at the LED strips unfortunately the UV35 is not gonna fit in the reflector so we are, we are not going to use that instead we're going to mount it right here um, i'm not sure you can see or not in the video let's see or not there's still some gaps you can use this treater to just make sure it can stick to the bottoms so so before you peel off you're going to slice in see get around this okay so kind of get how far you're going to stick in because without a uh, refractor so remove okay the way you slice in be careful they're so sticky you don't like this do like this a little bit like this okay so just careful careful i think that's about right all right there we go okay you can use this a little bit to it you can see it you see this a little bit gap here so I'm just stick to it so after you test it well let's come with this one after you test it uh, you know everything's fine you can add a little bit super glue on this side just make sure that it stay there a little bit on each sections so next thing you need to do is um, like Take a piece of tape, secure the wires. Okay. All right, get a piece of tape here. Just secure the wires. Now, this time we have to use aluminum foil. Why? Because the reflectors, we are not using a reflector, so there's a gap. We had to cover it to prevent the light bleeding out. See this? all right so on this side it's doing the same thing but you need to remove this metal cover in order to see the gaps in between the film okay just remove it remove it doesn't two screw holding the the metal cover one screw holding a, a reflector so take it out take the wire out okay the thick wire first but be careful on this side do not push this anything okay just see like this or you can remove the, the the reflector first and then remove the back covers so same thing stick in see how how far you can go yep this gaps even wider easier Remember, slice like that way. Just 
Just be really, really careful. Do the same thing, but this side I want to put back this cover first. And then add a piece of tube and do this. Repeat the same procedures. All right. Next thing I want to show you is that this one, either end can connect to one. This end can connect to this side or either way. The both. But the thing I want to show you is that this driver comes with the six pin wire, color coded wire. Where it's for the input voltage. Black is for a uh, input voltage positive. Black is for negative or power ground. White usually no connection because this uh, usually industrial display they do not have a uh, blindness adjustment yellow is extremely important it's for you for to turn this driver on and off on and off but if you can find your enable voltage or inverter wire harness there's a really fine pin called jb2 next to this cap you can look really carefully there's a small solder pad here so if you short out use a piece of wire or just solder short out this one this pad then only thing you need to do is connect the positive negative then LED will stay on. Alright. Thank you for watching.